Hello there. On today's Adventures with Bill, I'm going to be showing how I installed my Garmin LiveScope Panoptics on my Ascend 133X kayak. The Panoptics is the latest craze in fishing, and it really gives you a great view of what's happening underwater real time. And a lot of guys have it on their bass boats but more and more people are wanting it on their kayaks. So I installed mine and some people ask how I did it. So that's what this video is for. You can see on this first view that uh, on my kayak on the right hand side of the picture is the white PVC. That's my mounting pole for the transducer. And up in the front of the kayak, there's a black crate with a white top on it. That's where I have the black box for the transducer located, as well as the battery to run both the Garmin uh, 93SV and the transducer. And then right in front of me, it's a little hard to see there, that's the 93SV display unit. So let's get into how I installed this, and I'm beginning with uh, the transducer. Uh, I've got the kayak flipped upside down here and just showing you the transducer with the cable. And there's a, uh, a mounting bracket for it that I had to install. And then there's the 90 degree angle mounting bracket that will be affixing it to the underside of the kayak. You can see here that uh, there's, a, there's a hole, the rectangular hole there. It's made for mounting your transducer, hopefully to keep it from crashing into the rocks. And you can see in the front, on the right-hand side of that mounting location, there is a black uh, nylon or UHMW mounting block. That's what you're supposed to screw the transducer mount into. So I had to pull that out and uh, mark the whole location on it and drill the holes for the transducer. Uh, as it turns out, the mounting bracket for the transducer was a little too long. So here I, I've got to cut off uh, about a quarter of an inch of the mounting bracket so that it, the transducer won't be protruding below the kayak, trying to keep it from uh, keep it from getting bashed on the rock. So I just trimmed that off with a angle grinder, a cutter blade on the angle grinder, and that shows how it's uh, been trimmed off. Here I've got to feed the uh, the transducer cable down through a scupper hole uh, where the scupper plugs are mounted uh, to get that on the inside of the kayak where it will attach to the depth finder, get the cable completely routed, and then uh, got to mount the transducer with, with the screws. Speed this up so that you can see it. Kind of a tight fit getting the screws in there. You got to be a little creative and got to make sure that it doesn't stick out below the bottom of the kayak. So I've got a straight edge here just showing that I've got about a quarter of an inch clearance. Here is the side angle and if you look carefully you can see uh, I've got a little bit of clearance. It's going to hit some rocks and gravel you know if I beach it but uh, hopefully it won't suffer any real damage. For making the live scope uh, mounting pole uh, for the panoptics I've got a little sketch here and uh, I plan on, well, I have made this unit portable, completely portable, to use it on my kayak, but then I want to take it out and have it on my bass boat, and this is actually the layout, the drawing for how it will be mounted on the bass boat. Here, got the kayak uh, right side up, and you can see the uh, transducer mounted on a inch and a half ram ball mount, so I can position that uh, unit, the 93SV, fish finder, display, chart finder, any, any way I want it. Here's the black box. It's below the trolling motor when the trolling motor is stowed. Uh, the black box is in the black crate. It's not in the final position. You'll see that a little bit later. And of course, you got to follow the instructions. There's the Panoptics live scope mounting instructions. And there's the actual transducer that uh, I will be mounting to the bottom of the pole. Here is some RAM hardware that I picked up. The bottom piece is a clamp, uh, and this is a one inch ball mount. I went a little smaller. Uh, it might be a mistake. I probably should have gone with the inch and a half because I think it'll be a little more solid. 
uh, when I'm in current, but we'll see how this goes. The bottom uh, piece you see there is a clamp that will hold the transducer pole in place, and then uh, the middle one is a one-inch ball that will be attached to the kayak, and the top piece there is a, I think it's a six-inch clamp to connect them together. Here is the PVC that I'm using for the outer portion of the LifeScope pole. It's a one inch PVC and on the inside part, the part that rotates, that's three quarter inch PVC. They're both schedule 40 and it fits real well. Here I've got the one inch ball mount sitting on my kayak right to the left hand side of my seat in the kayak where I want to mount it. As you can see, only three of the mounting holes actually hit the hit the deck. So I put that little green dot where I'm going to drill another hole to uh, so I can get four screws to hold this thing in place. Here I've got that fourth hole drilled. This is an aluminum plate. I didn't want to go with the plastic. I wanted all the strength I could get so it's, it's solid aluminum. And here it is with the four mounting screws in place and it is nice and solid. Here, the uh, mounting arm, the connecting arm, is attached to the, the ball that I mounted to the kayak, and I've got the other clamp for the vertical PVC pipe installed, and it's a pretty slick setup. This is with the outer one-inch PVC pipe cut uh, to the right length, just so that the transducer will be under the water, but will still be able to see under my kayak. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how that works when I get on the water, what kind of a view it gives me. In this picture, we have the inner uh, three-quarter inch PVC installed inside the one inch, and I've got a T-handle there on the top, just trying to figure out what kind of a handle I'm going to be putting on there. Now, to mount the transducer to that white PVC pipe, I saw another YouTube video. Originally, I had bought the perspective mount for the Garmin LifeScope, but good grief, that was $100. So I took it back because I saw a video on YouTube of someone that made one just out of the one inch wide by eighth inch thick aluminum. So I've got it marked off here. It'll I'll cut it and then bend it into a U-shape and it, it, it really works slick. Here I've got it cut and bent. So I've got the X marked on it where we're drilling the hole in the bottom of it to uh, mount the transducer to this aluminum bracket and there the hole is drilled and that's the shoulder bolt that will hold the transducer in place just checking it for the right fit the like i said the this this unit is going to be portable so i have a short shaft on the kayak on my bass boat the shaft needs to be a, a good foot and a half longer uh, to get it down deeper in the water so it can see under my boat without the, 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 the view hitting the boat, blocking the view. So this is the bottom piece that the transducer is going to be mounted to permanently. And that coupling there will go up onto the inner three-quarter inch inner rotating pipe. And it's going to have a quick disconnect on it so that when I move over to the bass boat, I will put that extension section between this bottom section and the upper pole. You'll, you'll have to see it in action. Here it's, it's drilled and the, the bracket is attached to that bottom piece and give you a side angle as well. And you'll, you'll see it in action. Here it is installed on that lower, uh, the inner, the inner, pipe that turns so you can rotate it and there's the just a quick disconnect pin so I can just pop that right out add the longer section for my bass boat one more pin and it's good to go probably a 15 second changeover here it is installed on the side of the kayak with the transducer on the bottom in the forward position I don't have the upper handle fixed and located yet that's that's coming just showing the transducer a little more of a close-up of it in the forward position then you just rotate it 90 degrees and here it is in the perspective mode uh, i've primarily fish on rivers for smallmouth 
and the rivers are anywhere from three feet deep to maybe 10, 12 feet deep at the most. And so I'm thinking I'm going to be using the perspective view, the perspective mode a lot more than the forward or the or the down down view. So that's the way it is for the perspective. Uh, now I've got the handle on and it's lined up with it in the forward view. I, I drew a, uh, this is the top looking straight down onto the transducer pole. The green arrow with an F obviously is for the forward view when I'm using it in that mode and it's lined up exactly with the transducer pointing forward. So sitting in the kayak, I won't be able to see the transducer under the water, but that green arrow will tell me exactly what it's aiming at, which will give me the picture on my on my uh, 93 SV. Here, I'm sorry, I've rotated the picture 90 degrees, but you can see down on the bottom of the transducer, I've got it flipped up into the perspective mode, and it has a green line on the transducer for where the angle is pointing, and then the black line up here on the handle with a P, that tells me where to aim it for the perspective mode. So we're going to see how that works out. One thing about the the live scope, the black box, when you use it, it uh, takes a lot of power. And if you just leave it on all day, it can drain down your battery pretty quick. So I'm adding an on off switch so that I only have that uh, perspective mode or the panoptics on when I when I want it. The rest of the time, it'll just be looking the normal uh, side view on the Garmin or the fish finder view. So what I'm, I've got a piece of black eighth inch thick Lexan, not Lexan, it's uh, like Kydex material. And that's my on off switch because I want to turn the perspective mode. I want to turn the, the uh, panoptics off whenever I'm not using it, but still use my fish finder for the chart and the regular functions. So uh, I've laid out uh, a bracket that I'm going to make. It's laid out here, looks kind of uh, like gibberish. Uh, but here's the, the black plastic. It's it's cut out, and I'm going to be drilling a hole and bending, heating it up with a uh, heat gun and bending the edges over to make a little box. And and here it is. Uh, it'll be attached to the to the side of my uh, 93 SV, so that uh, I can just reach up and and flip the panoptics off whenever I'm not using it. Here, the, uh, I'm mounting it to the Garmin, to the Garmin mounting bracket uh, with uh, that, I forget what type of tape it is, but it's super sticky, really works well. And that's just on the side. And here I've got it stuck on, it's a little out of focus, but you can see it's stuck on the mounting bracket uh, right next to the screen. And here's a little better view. So as I'm looking at the uh, fish finder, that on-off switch will be on the right side, down low, won't be in the way of anything, uh, but it'll be super handy. And uh, I just turned the Garmin on, connected it to the to the battery in the system, and it just it's just loading up here, showing the map the map version, and and that works great. Uh, here it is in the boat, and so I've got the uh, Garmin 93 SV mounted. So there's the back with the, all the connections. The cable runs up into my crate, and uh, it's got that lid. It's a, a white Lexan lid that I can pop up. And there you go. There's the black box controller unit with uh, the cables all routed and then the battery. It's a 35 amp hour 12 volt battery, so we'll see how long that lasts. It's got the appropriate fuses everywhere to keep from having an electrical fire and the, the lid just clamps down. And uh, like I say, the only thing I need to do is uh, put a couple uh, little loops onto the kayak so that I can tie that down because if by chance ever I flipped over, don't want all that to go to the bottom of the leg. There's the cable, the transducer cable for the panoptics routed to the back of the kayak. And uh, of course, it, it, it'll be up, rotated up and set in the kayak as I'm moving it. It's not going to be next to the wheel as I'm going down the road. But uh, just showing you here, it's in the uh, forward view and how the, uh, how the green arrow lines up with the transducer. And uh, it's easy to turn right and left 
when you don't have a tire in the way. In the water, it'll be easy. And then just, uh, I will just rotate the pole up. I won't reach down in the water, but just flip that bracket down 90 degrees and uh, boom, it's in the perspective mode. Uh, again, sorry for my fingers being in the camera. And now I will just use the black arrow and that'll tell me where it's pointed. Uh, so what I see on the screen is what that black arrow is pointing at. So uh, I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty, pretty slick system. I'm looking forward to getting it out on the water and uh, seeing some big fish and then catching the big fish. Left enough slack in the cable so I can turn it 180 degrees if needed to see what uh, see all the fish behind me now i'm a little run down here of how easy it is to take it out and trans transfer it over to the bass boat the only cable that i have to disconnect is the transducer cable that's mounted to the bottom of the kayak so uh, that stays on the kayak and then the the ram ball mount that that one handle i just unscrew that and lift the uh, the SV, 93 SV unit, lay it on top of the white box. Then uh, just undo the clamp that holds the transducer in place and pick up the transducer, take it over, lay it on top of the crate, make sure that the uh, transducer cable isn't catching on anything, pick it up, walk away, and put it in the bass boat. I mean, 30 seconds, you can't get much faster than that. So again, a lot of people have asked, how do you mount the uh, panoptics on a kayak? So uh, I really enjoyed making this video. I hope it gave you some ideas. You might have a better way to do it. If you do, please leave a comment down below. Again, my channel is Adventures with Bill, and I have all kinds of uh, kayak modification videos, how-to, DIY, all kinds of projects. So check out the channel. Uh, if you enjoy it, if, you, if you've liked these videos, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, uh, that really helps with my channel on YouTube and also the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified anytime I put up a new video. Hope to have a video coming out shortly that shows installing this on my bass boat and then some videos showing me catching a lot of big fish with it. So, hey, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, God bless you.